All right, so I fucked up. I kind of, I had everything answered. I was going to go find something on my friend's night on Cecil blog, and, you know, I fucked up. Um, I clicked stop instead of pause, so now i got to do this entire thing over again. So, uh, I'm going to have to explain everything again, but, you know, oh well. I'm a little under the weather. It's storming outside, like gray clouds, thunder. I don't like thunder at all, but um, I'm going to answer all these questions again, but don't mind me. I am perfectly okay with all this. I'm just going to, you know, go as I go, and maybe I'm going to go. I didn't find what I was originally looking for, you know, in my area so I have to go find it again but you know I'll answer the questions as I go. So the first question was the favorite episodes of De um, Night Vale and to be honest my favorite was probably my favorites were the Sandstorm episodes because hearing Kevin's voice and Cecil's voice like having them swap out places and getting to know a bit more of Desert Bluffs was really interesting for me. And I don't know. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's just... There's just so much fun. And Night Vale is very... It's helped me through a lot of crap that I've gone through by listening to Cecil's... I don't think they understand how much Night Vale has actually helped some people. But it's helped me so much. Like, I... Yesterday was like... Worst day of my life. I listened to Summon Night Vale and Cecil's voice just made me happy. And I just wanted to, you know, Cecil's voice makes me happy because it sounds like he's actually talking to you. And, you know, <sighs> Kevin's voice was nice too. I really like Kevin's voice. But, you know, I'm going I'm going to go on with the next question cuz I'm starting to ramble. I'm sorry. But um my favorite weather. Oh my god. Oh. I I stopped the recording. I had to redo it. And I didn't even look up the weather that I originally didn't even find. Uh, well, um the I like all the weathers. Like I'm a person that will listen to any kind of music you hand to me at least once. If I don't, I won't judge it by the genre of the music. I will judge it by what the song is. Like, for example, I, I'll listen to like Eminem sometimes, but I won't listen to like Lil Wayne all the damn time. But I don't know. That was a really bad example. Um, all the weathers are great. I like how Com Commonplace Books takes other people's music and puts it in the place where everyone who doesn't typically hear that kind of music and or has never heard them before can hear them. And their music can get out there and the people will come search for them. Those the people can have more people who will follow them and enjoy their music. I don't... It's... It's really great. I'm not that great of a singer, but I can sing to some people. Some people told me I can't. Some people told me I can't. One of those weird things. But, you know, it just makes me happy that Commonplace Books has given people chances to express themselves in this. And the fact that the F Cecil never says anything about the music. He's enjoying the music too, I'm guessing. I mean, he likes weather. He likes listening to it. He sounds excited when he says the weather. And I'm just glad. It's... <laughs> uh, I love... It's so great. But I'm sorry if I'm sounding kind of down. I had a bad day at school. And I broke down today and it wasn't very nice so in the middle of biology I had to go step outside it was not whatever um sorry I don't want to get you too involved in my personal life you guys won't be interested anyways but okay oh I completely skipped over this question so good thing I 
fucked it up because I would have missed this question. Good job on me. Pat myself on the back. Um. Oh, I didn't skip this question. I skipped the next one. Um, Night Vale or Desert Bluffs? <laughs> um. Well, um. Hmm. I can't choose between the two. Like, I love Desert Bluffs and I love Night Vale and I love the care. I love pe the people in each town, whether it be Kevin or. Ricardo, Diego, or Marcos, or whatever you want to name Desert Bluffs version Carlos. I love Carlos and Cecil and Josie and Steve. I love everyone. I love Scoutmaster Harlan. I mean, it's it's a smart idea, and it gives you two different views on how the towns react to each other. And I don't know. It's hard to explain. Night Vale is just one of those things you can't really explain in one go, but. Hmm. I guess I, if I had to choose one, I'd probably say I'd probably be more likely to live in Desert Bluffs. But I love Night Vale too, so I'd probably be there too. I don't know. Thing is, I'm not a fan of blood, but at the same time, I I don't know. It's hard to choose between the two. I don't. I don't see. I I live like on the borderline. Like I'd make a little tent, and, and borderline it. <laughs> um, living on the borderline tent is that sounds fun. Uh, we can we can all have a little camp. Like you guys can come with me, and we can have a giant little camping area where we'll be on the borderline of Desert Bluffs and Night Vale. We can have like a little draw a little circle in the sand protect ourselves from the sand bear or the bearfish or whatever it was and we can help um we can you know bond and my grandmother's calling me but you know I don't like talking on the phone um we can all bond have marshmallows and non wheat byproducts and make sure that maybe the ch I'm sorry <laughs> I'm trying to be silly when I shouldn't be but, um, what's your head canon, Cecil slash Kevin? Well, my Cecil, in my head, I guess he changes from time to time, but I think he's more blonde than, he's not blonde blonde, but he's like, he's not light blonde, but he's not dirty blonde either. He's kind of you know the borderline blonde where you know it's blonde but at the same time you're like is that blonde but um and i see him wearing like <laughs> i don't know see now that i actually have to explain my cecil i can't explain him verbally and i know he wears glasses he doesn't really have the best fashion sense. I know that, just like Leonard. But, um... Uh, mm, um... I don't know. Um, Kevin! Kevin is way more easier to explain. Kevin, My Kevin has black hair, hollow eyes, just like most Kevins do. His eye on the... F oh, my Cecil has an eye on his forehead. That's right. Kevin's eye on his forehead is stitched up. There's blood. I don't know if I like the glass cow grin. Um, I don't know if my Kevin will have that or not. Probably. I don't know. He'll look weird. Like, compare that to else's, but... Basically, Cecil wears a lot of purple, and Kevin wears a lot of orange, and... Don't mix it. <laughs> I understand. Ugh, I don't know. It's so hard to make head cannons. I don't know why. Maybe because like, the thing is like the f I find it funny with head cannons is that like, everyone basically has the Carlos head cannon agreed on. Man, Brazilian, curly hair, lab coat. No matter how many lab coats, it could be a rainbow lab coat for all it fucking matters. Carlos is Carlos, the science, the Brazilian scientist with glasses and curly hair that is in his lab 
who does things with Cecil that I cannot, I don't know. Everyone's Cecil is different. I love everyone's Cecil headcanons. Like, every single Cecil headcanon I see, it makes me happy. Because it shows people's individuality when they draw it. And that's my cat. Um, Everyone's individuality is shown through their Cecil, I believe. And it makes me happy. I've seen long-haired Cecils. I've seen short-haired Cecils. I've seen medium-haired Cecils. I've seen everything from white to black, which makes me gr happy. I've seen short to tall. I don't know about you, but I, <laughs> I think it's adorable when Carlos is shorter than Cecil. I don't know why, but it just makes me happy. I'm, <laughs> I'm grinning. I'm going to giggle. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, I really don't see how there should be a... Pr I don't know why people get so like hung up on if someone's headcanon is not their headcanon. It makes me mad when people freak out because just because their... Let's, what's the word? Um, their standards were met with the Cecil or not. There's no reason to get mad at someone if a Cecil has long black hair or white short hair. I'm, I don't understand why you people just get so mad. It's just kind of it's, it's annoying, really. But it's just me. I'll head to the next question. Um, ow! Did you hear that? That was my knuckles. That hurt. Ow! Um, ow! My com uh, um. My favorite character, <laughs> I think I said Steven. I think I said Steve Carlsberg the first time, but I'm still going to stick by that. Steve Carlsberg is probably my favorite. For, I don't know why, but I know I just like his character very much. And... I don't know. You just can't. God, this recording is worse than my last one. It's literally 12 minutes long. I'm so sorry. But, um, I'm sorry. I'm sick. Um, Steve Carlsberg's probably my favorite character, but I love all the characters. I love Kevin. I love Cecil. I love Carlos. I love Desert Bluff's version of Carlos, whether his name be Ricardo, Diego, Marcos, Esteban, Julio, Regado, Del Rosa, Ramirez, whatever. Um, I don't know. I just, I even, I love Leonard too. But the thing is, I haven't, I'm scared to run my blog because I, we don't know much about Leonard. And I'm worried that I'm portraying him the complete opposite of what he would be. So when I hear more about him, if we ever do then I'm going to feel like I'm not, I'm going to feel like I failed, but we'll see how that goes. But Steve Carlsberg is probably my favorite character. My least favorite character is probably the Apache tracker. I don't know. But the thing is, I can't judge him because, you know, he might have been, he might have been, I don't know. The thing is about when, when Cecil got mad at him, it showed when you actually listen to what Cecil says, he's like a prick. Like, 30% of the time he ever talks. It's, it's It varies a lot. He's he's kind of a prick, really. He's a smart ass. He, I love Cecil to death. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's just he acts like a jerk sometimes. And poor Carlos has to deal with that. Oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. Um, uh, who are we kidding? I, I, I date Cecil. Mm -hmm. But probably Patchy Tracker. Maybe because I didn't... No. You know who my least favorite character was? The Barber. I think his name was Telly. The one who cut Carlos's hair. I didn't like him because, well, he cut Carlos's hair. Uh, I'm not that fan of a, I'm not that big a fan of Carlos, really. I've been, I my 
love for Carlos has grown since I've seen so many amazing blogs like Corrupted Carlos or that oh, oh perfect Carlos blog and uh, ask Carlos man of love I love Carlos blogs because they're so great I love them all like you can't my love for them is I want to be friends with them, but you think I'm shy. It's hard enough for me to make this. This is why it's been already like 15 minutes and I'm not through like half the damn meme because I'm shy and I don't know what to say. So if I you stuck this all this through, I'm sorry that I'm horrible and I've wasted 15 minutes of your time. I'm going to rush through the rest of this, get to the Cecil impersonation, and I'll be on my way. Still on Tumblr because I don't have anything else to do, but... Next character is, oh, well, how do you pronounce the name? Hiram, 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 McDaniels, or I'm just going to call him Mr. McDaniels. Mr. McDaniels or the faceless old woman? I'm probably going to say the faceless old woman because, well, I don't remember much from the episode, episode, episodes where they were mentioned because... I have a shit memory. Like, I can't remember anything. I can't remember names. I can't remember stuff. And it's hard. Like, I'm not a verbal thing. So whenever I listen to Night Vale, I have to listen over, like, six different times so I can remember stuff. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say the faceless old woman was probably the better side of what I saw. I don't know. But, okay, next question. Favorite guest voice? I'm gonna say Kevin. Kevin was my, for some reason, when I heard his voice at first, I, it calmed me more than Cecil's did that night. I think it was just a bad night that I was having, and I listened to Kevin's voice, and it seemed, it was a nice transition to the fact where I, I think I listened to the second part first, because I listened to the first part the week before that. But the second part, when I was having a bad night, and the friendliness that was in Kevin's voice made me feel nice and safer. And I don't know. I just... I don't know. It was probably more... I thought my computer died for a second. I was about to flip. Um. But yeah, if... I don't understand why people, why am I, I don't know, I, just, I but Kevin was probably my favorite guest voice, if he counts as a guest voice. Alright, my favorite quote, my favorite quote is probably the fact that my favorite time in Night Vale that I can remember clearly for every day is when Cecil was looking up cat videos on his computer and told Dana to link that one kitten video to his Facebook. I don't know why that's so vibrant in my mind, but it is. I don't understand why, but I also like when he said, like, he, everything Cecil says is great to me because I can listen to that and smile at it. Like, everything he says, that it's it affects me in a way where I want to either be him or I just, I think one, I think the thing that really affected me was one year later when he thought Carlos had died. I was crying and the emotion that I felt was horrible. Like I've never felt that sad over a fictional character in so long, it affected me in ways that I did not like. But when I saw Carlos came back and was happy and Cecil was all happy and then they went on their date a few episodes later, I was thrilled. And Night Vale's made me happier than I used to be. It makes me wish that I found it way before it got popular. Because, I don't know, it might have been... 
when it first started would have been a great time for me because I was going through some tough time back in like when it first came out. I think it first came out like October 2012. I'm not sure. But my friend Octavia was telling me about it for like months and she's like, you gotta listen to it. And I never got around to. And I really regret not getting around to it. It's, uh, I don't know. It's getting the 20 minutes already. I'm gonna, okay. My Cecil impression. Well, I'm, I couldn't go find the thing that I originally wanted from my night, my friend's Night Vale blog. But I'm just going to do this really, 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 really short thing that she typed up. That I'm probably going to do a really bad effect on it. Because, you know, oops. Ah, everything's falling. I really wanted to, I don't know, I can't. The way I emphasize words with Leonard on my blog is not the same way I can talk at all. I can't talk like that. I am not built for talking. I am built for writing and drawing. That's it. I cannot talk. When I try and talk, I stutter and I, I'm rambling. That's the main problem whenever I talk. So um, I'm going to get to this. Just let me give me, give me a minute. Ugh. All right. I'm gonna try. I'm sorry, Macy, if that's how you print. Like, I'm sorry I'm gonna ruin your post with my voice. That is, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's get into my weird. Put my hair in a ponytail before I start. Okay. I haven't read over this yet, so if I'm, I'm doing this like sight reading, so you know, please excuse me. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Remember, wow, that was so bad. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm good. Remember, if you are one of the few sensible people that hibernates during the winter months, tell your loved ones goodbye before you fall into the bleak and dreary void of sleep. We cannot promise that the... I'm sorry, my tongue. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Sorry. Okay, I can't... I can't do serious... Oh. We cannot promise they will be here when you wake. We cannot promise you will be here when you wake. If your faith in the length of time the world is going to last reaches more than a few days, you need to rethink some things. Ta-da! I'm so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sick. And I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I wasted like 25 minutes of your time. I'm sorry. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop this now and... If you guys want to hear anything else from me, then, you know, let me know. You probably don't because my voice. I'm sorry I wasted, like, 20 minutes of your time. If you actually stayed around until the end, I love you. <laughs> let me know if you did because I really want to know. Okay, well, goodbye. Well, you know, if my window was actually... No, sorry. <laughs>